back to our epic Discover Down Under road trip. Brookie and I are immersing ourselves in the Aussie outback. We've had so much fun on this road trip and I can't begin to imagine how much fun the Dometic Follow the Sun ambassadors are going to have on their three months road trip. Let's take a look at where they're heading. Our second team are going to see New South Wales from top to bottom. They'll hit the road in Tweed Heads on the border and head down the coast to Byron Bay, Yamba, into my favourite spot, Coss Harbour. Then it's Nambucca Heads, Southwest Rocks and Port Macquarie before they hit Sydney. Heading south to Jarvis Bay and Tarthra, they will head inland to Jindabyne, Tumut, Young and Forbes. Plenty of parks to visit on the way to Tamworth, up to Tenterfield and over the border for Stanthorpe and Killarney, finishing in Broad Beach. I'm exhausted, but they'll have a ball. I'm here at Gundawindi, but I'm obviously not a local because I've called it Gundawindi. If I was a local, I'd be calling it Gunnawindi after Gun Singh. And what an amazing racehorse he was. They say that racehorses are bred to race, and he was the quintessential racehorse. And Brookie is at the Gunnawindi Museum, and she knows everything about Gun Singh. Well, Tim, I feel like a local now, so I'm just going to go with Gundy. Phil, he was a legend, wasn't he? Absolutely. He's uh, probably one of the most popular racehorses to ever grace the Australian turf. Some of the records he's done will never be broken. He's the only horse to ever win on every eastern seaboard, every racetrack, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. He's the only horse to win the four big mile races in the one season, all carrying big weights. And he's won on every track, all the big races, the Cox Plates and all them. He broke Tullock's record of the most prize money one, which doesn't sound much money today, 280000 That would be millions today, wouldn't we it? We did the figures about three years ago and it was $10 million because <sighs> he won the same races. Well, he's really put this town, as well as Queensland, on the map. At the Gunsin Museum, you'll find treasures such as Gunsin's original silks and sashes, not to mention all of those big, shiny trophies. Phil, this is pretty special. This is the Cox Plate. Cox Plate yes, that's the race he won when he broke Tullock's stakes record. And uh, it's, well, it's, it's recognised now as one of the greatest sprint racers in the world. Sure, he won a lot of races, but there was more to this horsey than meets the eye. Phil, some of the photos here are just amazing when you see him with the kids and with the ladies as well. He just looks so content. That's why he was so popular. They got some models to go out and do a photo shoot for the Spring Carnival in Melbourne. But as soon as he saw the ladies, he put his head on their shoulder and... Ah, yeah, oh, he was a ladies' man. <laughs> Going out on a track, he'd pull up and he started clapping. He wouldn't move. And I spoke to both jockeys that rode him, Higgins and Langby, and they said it wasn't a joke. He'd stand there and he'd wait for the applause and then he'd, he'd saunter off. And that's on, that's on film. Yeah. And when he'd come back, he'd stand at the gate and bow to the crowd. And he's a bit like Ned Kelly. I think he's led in the last river. He really was the heart and soul of Gundy. That's right, yes. And, and, and the whole of Australia. They all loved him. And I, I, I really believe that I don't think the adulation that people showed that horse will ever be repeated again. So, Brookie, this is where it all took place. Gun Sin was sold for $1,200 to a consortium of four guys. And then, as rumour has it, they all had a palmy each. <laughs> they had a palmy? They sat back and had a beautiful palmy at the Victoria Hotel. 300 bucks. The deal of the century. <gasps> Wow, the deal of a lifetime. Wow. I tell you what, this could be the palmer of a lifetime. It it's, looks great. It does. I've spoken to Chef. And what did he give up? It's it's fresh chicken breast. Okay. They crumb it themselves. OK. And um, he didn't want to give away too many secrets about the herbs and spices and the cheese mm. they put on top, but he just said to give it a good crack. Straight off, it's on the chips, but Chef seems to have very crunchy chips. You'll be happy with that salad I on am, the side? I am seriously rabbited up by that salad. And? It has ham. Oh, the steam's That's coming off that really chicken. Good I can tell. It smells good. Mm. Mm. Wow. 
It has a secret <laughs> ingredient that you are going to love. Oh, my God. Have a smell of that. Have a smell. Ooh. It smells beautiful. Is it a bit garlicky? Yeah, it is. It it's, has ga it's... garlic in that sauce. You bet. Which is really nice. Mm, it is. This is a ripper parma. Mm. It really is. Get your card. You want to rate? Yeah, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I want to. I want to see what you're going to rate it. Waiting. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. What'd you give it? Now? No. <laughs> Well done, Victoria Hotel. You bet. Because it is one of the nicest paramas I have ever had. It is. Well done. Now, can we do a deal of a, a horse? Can we find someone? <laughs> yeah. to... A horse, a horse. My palmer for a horse. <laughs>